expressed in the following show are for entertainment purposes only. They are not necessarily the views of Twin Galaxies, HD Films, or any other affiliates. Film. Yeah, I obviously can't speak. Hey, Welcome everybody to Root Beer Tapper. Yes, on, look at that uh, thing, man. Twin Galaxies mm -hmm. Live. No, I'm kidding. Welcome to Settle It on the Screen for March 20th, 2015. Check root beer. That's right. Root beer. Root beer, baby. Mmm. Mm. So, welcome everybody. Uh, can you hear us? Um, hope you. I know we had a problems audio last year. So, what? Or last year? Yeah, last, last year. Week. All last year. Snow, man, no but, uh, we're here to twenty settle, shows. No audio. Yeah, settle on the screen is here to. Um, it's here to stay. Maybe. Talk to <laughs> to promote and talk about the world of world record setting high scores on the Twin Galaxies database, or as many of you know, world records of video games. Yes. Um, thanks Same for you thing. guys watching us tonight. And, uh, what? Screen changed. Oh, it's a video game. Like, oh. It's like on the free play. You know, oh, it's not free like play. Demo. It's just, yeah, it's a normal oh. thing until you push start. Oh. Have you ever seen a video game before? A couple. I played, I played some last week. Remember? Really? Oh, yeah. that's right. Yeah. So, hi, Don. Don's in TG Live 6. How you doing? What's going on, Don? Hello, hello. Hopefully my audio is a little bit better today. Oh, you sound great. Yeah. I think you, I think you can leave yourself unmuted. Yeah, sounds um, good, man. Just where's, so I, oh, where's Glenn? Glenn. Is he going to be here? We got some news. Glenn Updike will be back next Friday. Oh. Um, we do have a jam-packed show next we, week. We do. It's um, kind of, it's not even fair how much stuff we have Nick to here is actually going to go for a Twin Galaxies world record. Yeah, maybe Maybe, maybe more multiple one. ones. Yeah. And we are going to try to find the way to prove to you at home or to prove to the submission judging to all of us on Twin Galaxies who adjudicate enough evidence that Nick got a world record on Virtual Boy Yes. Game. So we're going to take the adventure next week. We Multiple are. video cameras. Oh, I'm going to go. Let's see what we got over here. <laughs> you still have it in the box, right? Oh, yeah. You never opened Look it. Look at this. Oh. So I got to ask, where, where'd you get the Virtual Boy? Ooh. Where did I get it? Because it yeah, I saw one on um, eBay or somewhere, and I was there's like 250 bucks complete in box. I was very tempted. Mine, mine. Okay, how much so your cost, Nick? I bought my Virtual Boy at uh, Funko Land, which is now GameStop, but it was then called Funko Land on clearance at Funko Land in 1997 for forty dollars. Um, and perfect shape i've kept it in the box since then i mean this is like it's still like perfect looking yeah it is yeah, there's no it's still spongy the... it's so oh yeah very much so um everything works perfectly i have 12, 12 or 13 games for it yeah um but yeah it works great i mean it's a virtual boy, but so, <laughs> it works so, just... glenn coming back, so for glenn coming back next week we're gonna play some nintendo finally Everything's can you uh, can you just use your bionic eye to get the, the yeah. video feed for us? Yeah. Oh yeah, probably could, could. Probably yeah, if you have something built in to your head. Yeah, just have Do to you like, get a jack. You have an S video HDMI, out, right? right? I think. No, it's oh, S video. No, I mean, we did it in the late oh, 90s. Psh. But yeah. I mean, in, you know, in 1998, that was like high tech. Right there. Oh yeah, <laughs> extra hundred lines of resolution. It's kind of hard to beat that, man. But yeah, so next week. We're going to figure it out, whether it's on the honor system. <laughs> I don't know. We'll have to well, figure it We've yeah. thought of it. Or rewire like, it. Should we yeah. open it? What if we put... <laughs> I'm blocking something here. That's what I'm hoping. Oh, well, you people can see that. It's fine. Okay, whatever. Um, so, I was actually thinking about this, and I know the point of the Virtual Boy is if you block one eye, it's impossible to play the game. What if we put like a camera here and then I we put it to a TV and I played it like that? That's what I figured. We're gonna have to play it off the TV. Okay. I mean, they did it. Still, at, you're still using the, the the right controller. I think it, what it, this came out in '95. I think it was E3 1995. They had a Virtual Boy plugged into a big screen. Yeah, actually, uh, our friend Keith Apicary. Yeah, that's the only time he I've actually ever seen. owns a stand-up thing from E3. Oh, okay. Or, Here's the thing. Yeah. Right. Oh, all right. So. Um, but it's still the same controller, yeah. so you're just going to be playing through the TV as your... So we'll have it all set up next week. It'll yep. be a lot of fun. Maybe I'll get some more people. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no. I, oh, see I'm wrapping I, the I hope I didn't leave the... Oh, I was smart. I didn't keep the batteries Good in idea. There. How many batteries are in there? I think it's six. Do you have the power 
AC adapter? No. Oh, so your you world couldn't find so, it anywhere. So your world record attempts only going to last as long as the batteries. Yeah, they last a long time. But, but what happens if it's you're not playing? Like a game what gear. happens if you're playing Galactic Pinball for like six hours? Then you're probably gonna die. Okay. Well, that's what I'm saying. Someone, you're, someone's gonna beat your world record as the AC adapter. The best part about the the Virtual Boy is it came with. Here's this. There's this um, room for an extension cable here, which was created so you could link Virtual Boys together. The downside to it was that Virtual Boy bombed so quickly that they never actually created the cable. So the capability would never exist, yeah. even though there is this port. So we always talked about making an eight pin adapter <laughs> and, make our own. and making our own because like tennis would have been awesome. Tennis would have tennis been, been fantastic. Uh, even playing doubles or two player would have been really cool. But And there is a couple decent games. Wario Land's awesome. Yeah, Wario, that is Wario a cool Land's game. a really cool game. I like the pinball game. I mean, no, it's, just, cool. it's just a yeah. pinball game. You could just. It could have been like the the Tetris game. No, Virtual is Tetris probably is probably cool. the only Virtual Tetris is like the only game that needed to be made on a 3D system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was a cool. I no, love the concept. It was a very cool process. Where the whole idea of all Virtual Boy things was like in Wario Land, you'd be here. Oh, and then there's a bad guy over there. Yeah, you have there's, to jump there's, into there's, that, and then you come back. With Tetris, you'd have two boards going simultaneously. So if you had, you know, if you had a straight piece and it didn't work for here, you could flip the board and put it in there. So it's like it's basically playing two games at once, but very cool. Yeah, it's something different. It was yeah. 1995, yeah. man. There wasn't a whole heck of a lot going on in video games. Yeah. Well, that's why Nintendo make it because they were waiting. Yeah. Then 64 was delayed. So next week we're gonna do it all. Yeah, virtual well, we're both boy. of us will see. Oh, yeah. We're gonna go for some Virtual Boy scores. Um, record them, and uh, it's, all it's gonna be awesome. Um, I would like to welcome our guest, Joe Sargent. Oh, sweet TG man! Live three. Yes. He's, we couldn't get him into two, so uh, Neo, if you could switch him to the other one, uh, if you could put TG Live three in that little window, that'd be great. If you can hear us, yes. Um, we'll get. We're gonna talk to him about his Paperboy wrong on NES after the world records here, and we'll announce his, of course. So here we go. You ready, Nick? Oh, I'm ready. Man. World records for the week of yes. March 20th, 2015 on the Twin Galaxies database. Here we go. A few select. A few still, select. Oh, it was like 60 <clears throat> some records. Oh, good. Somewhere. That's good, man. What is that? Is that Adam Jacobowitz? Oh, no. Shoot. Oh, that's uh, Joe Jackmovich from South Bend, Indiana. Notre Dame. Congrats. They won yesterday in the tournament. Uh, PlayStation 2. We love Katamari. And TSC, that's American Lions. North America. Whatever. America. Bonfire Small Diameter, 3.757 meters. It's kind of a fun game. I watched that one. It was pretty good. It was kind of interesting. New game. Oh, here I go. Boosting him again because I'm just in love with Puzzle Bobble. Sean Vincent of Sacramento, California got approved 67,041,080 points on Bust to Move Again. It's a the Neo Geo score. version on the N64. Uh -huh. Awesome run. The guy knows Puzzle Bobble inside and out. I want him to come to my home and break the world record on my Neo Geo. Yep. The dude's watching his gameplay. He's got all the angles f figured and out. And then when he beats your record, just accidentally like, pull I don't even have oh. a record. He'll beat my 7 million like in two minutes. No, I don't keep, dude. I thought you got like 14 million. No, I got no? 7 million. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The world record, I think, is either 30 or 16. I know, that's, I, know I don't know which one's right. But, one, it's one or the other. Yeah. 30 would be better than 16. Huh? Well, of course it would. Yeah. Someone can tell us. They can Numbers search the database. Wise, yeah. Uh, we got Ryan uh, Gano from Aurelia, Ontario, in Canada. A hey. Turbo Graphics 16, Bonk's Revenge, great game. Points 935,250. Bonk's Revenge, uh, very, very good game. Much better than Box Adventure. And, it was and, a big improvement. And, and it's a great score. It's a great mm. run. I'm just surprised that there hasn't been a score yet because it's such a great game. Oh, on, it was on uh, Turbo Graphics when I was in like fifth, I'm surprised fifth grade, man. Bonk's Revenge. Crap. Our, our old cold host Joss was supposed to yeah, send he, a score was on awesome there. At Bonks. And he was supposed to set that score, but. Yeah. Ryan's the champ. Ryan, up. Nice Ryan. I don't know if you guys What's have that? watched, but Ryan's really tearing up the TurboGrafx 16 titles. Some NES titles, too, but he, he and uh, I see he and Rudy are going to butt heads about the TurboGrafx 16, which I think is a good thing. It's awesome to see competition. Awesome. That's one awesome. console I've always wanted to own. And uh, so watching those titles is just really cool. Dude, that's you get. You just got your Sega. Now it's time to get Turbo Graphics. Man, man. he's not that's gonna next. stop. Next is the virtual. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, 
Well, he's going backwards right now, so cool he's going master system. Yeah. Yes. Um, Andrew Gardicus from uh, Quincy, Massachusetts. Uh, Russian attack, fastest completion, 9 minutes and 51 seconds, beating the previous world record by 6 seconds. Nice. Uh, I saw you guys just asked a question. Does Twin Galaxies score, uh, accept speed runs? Yes, we, yes, they do. Yeah, we do. Um, go and see what the rules are. They're a little bit different than other speed rules. Majority of the Twin Galaxies... Uh, fastest completion is what it's more called instead of a speed run. Um, <laughs> it's so funny. Because you said we do accept speed runs, except our rules are a little different. I just wanted to be yeah, like, I know, unlike I know. normal yeah. ones, it's not the fastest. It, that's, that's not who You can't use one. glitches in their specific rules, so make sure you check those rules before you submit a score. That's it's more about honor than speed. I, yeah. <laughs> we got David Gomez from Houston, Texas. Atari 5200. The fact that he even got one to work is a miracle. Oh, when you're itself. done reading this, I'm going to yeah. tell you Robotron what's going on. Robotron 2084, default, 877,250, which honestly, David, if you would have just said 20 points, I'm sure that would have been the record, too. No, no, we read it last week. No, I know, but I'm just, yeah. oh, come on, I'm making um, jokes about okay, Atari okay. 5200's working. We did that last week. Whatever. We can, we can do it every it. week. It's the oh, same okay. thing. Yeah, that's true. Well, no, what I'm more <laughs> amazed it's about, an incredible this score. isn't the highest, this is the highest approved score as of today yeah yeah um Not there a, is another tomorrow. score about 900 and then david has another submitted score uh for about a million now they're not approved yet, so I ain't reading them as world records yeah, on this yeah. score. Yeah, but approved. Him, Michael Ferguson, and uh, Mark Hoff kind of started it off. That's who, who. That's what we read last week was yeah, Mark's yeah. score of five hundred thousand. I'm amazed that there's three or four people out there <laughs> submitting scores right now For to the system. Twin Galaxies database to a system that barely works. Yeah, I that, mean, I that's just, all I was saying. I literally just got rid of mine because I was so frustrated with the few games I had. I got it to work finally. It's taken me like six that, years. I like that you spent six years trying to get this thing to work. You finally got it to work, and you sell it. I'm sorry, Space Invaders <laughs> sucked. Pac-Man, all the games, Pac-Man right. sucked, and Popeye horrible. sucked. And those yeah. are the only three games I own. I'm like, I'm done. I have Popeye for, and I have Robotron. I have so Robotron sweet. for the 7800. You know what? And yeah, I'm just. It was a miserable experience in my life trying to get that 5200. The, the Popeye sucking for the 5200 is not the 5200's fault. That's the game. No, Popeye. that's a good game on television. Is, it, is that a good game? Um, let's get let's get going. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Your turn, friend. I just read. Oh, okay. Fred Bugman, the uh, awesome man, I like to call him. 562 some world records. That's probably nice. low. Um, 229,750 points on Yo Noid, uh, the Domino's game yeah, the from Domino's the Nintendo game. Entertainment System. Um, I don't, I've never played this game. I just know you have yeah, we, played it. We, it's I, pretty I've annoying. It it's like the old commercials. It's it's one of those rare like oddball titles for the NES. That's actually it's actually a really fun game. You wouldn't think so because it's you know like Domino's Pizza sponsored it, but um, but it's actually a really fun game. And uh, there's a speed run. I think Andrew actually submitted a speed run that's currently in adjudication for it. So it's a surprisingly fun Domino. title. Domino's better pay Fred and Andrew some money. Yeah, that's for all that free, extra, advertising. free advertising. It's almost thirty years later, man. That's impressive. Uh, we got Daniel uh, Daniel Piera from uh, Mississippi, from Mississippi. From Mississippi. Sorry, Nintendo Wii NBA Jam, uh, biggest blowout, single player only, one hundred and four. That's pretty fantastic. That's pretty awesome score. That's, it was fun to watch, and it's exciting to watch. I I want to just say this again to everybody submitting. Yeah. Direct capture is great because we see, you know, everything, everything. but. The fun part, I mean, it's still fun to watch an awesome score. Like watching the Paperboy score was awesome. Both of them, the arcade. We're gonna we're gonna read both of them later yeah. here at the end of the at the end of this. Yeah. Um, but I love the reactions that people have sometimes when they finally like just beat the score or at the end. So, oh man, and that's so entertaining to me. <laughs> it's like the best. So keep part. doing it. Uh, Jason Stanley, this is his third record on Mike Tyson's punch out. He has the <clears> fastest uh, knockout of uh, bald, bald oh, bull, uh, number one, uh, one minute, 21 seconds. Um, awesome to him. He's, he's just keep pushing those, uh, Tyson records and looks like we'll have more competition after Sweet. all the devel developments of the Mike Tyson cheating fiasco. So. <laughs> it's been never ending. Well, it's not. It's, 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 it was once, Nick. No, no. Oh, but I, I was making I jokes. Have a, about I have a totally legit oh, oh. Don Flamingo huh. record I'd like to submit. Um, hey. I'm secretly the MK Wizard. 
It's true. Oh, oh, so you're. Oh, oh yeah, God. it's me. Just kidding. Oh. I'm really Rocky Rose. <laughs> oh, I that's know. even. Yeah. I you're don't know. That guy's just. <laughs> anyway, we should talk about it. I don't know. Oh, we got Ed Owen, Arcade Paperboy, Points, Easy Street. It's always better on Easy Street. Mm-hmm. 168,372. Yes. That's a good run. And, and our guest tonight in TG what's, Live. What's better, though? What's better? The that NES one. version? Yes. Congratulations to Joe Sargent of Lowell, Massachusetts, right? Did I read that right? That's Lowell. Okay. Lowell. 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 Okay. It's Lowell. It's Lowell. Okay. I'm terrible. <laughs> NES. Paper two Boy. choices. NES. Uh, Paperboy. 289,550 points. I believe the definitive version of Paperboy. People argue with me. Absolutely. I think it's the best version. Um, thank, I, thank you. Play the other ones. I think it's the funnest one to play. I don't know if it's just the controller or it's the way it's made. Control. It's just it's just better. Yeah, so it's good because um, it's for Nintendo. Nintendo yeah, that's true. It is for Nintendo. So Joe, hi, welcome to the show. I welcome, love the man. background. Is that is that your room with all those decals on the back? That's our that's our hallway coming from the kitchen to the living room. Oh, oh sweet. sweet! Yeah, that's very cool, man. Yeah. I have to ask you yeah. after the show where you pick those up. I wonder if they make Sonic ones. Probably not, but no, I haven't seen them. <laughs> or not? They yeah. don't. Yeah, I'm wrong. So well, if you want a, if, if you want a Sonic wall, just uh, take some blue paint and just blur it. Right, because <laughs> the black processing just a streak of blue paint. That's right. Or you could just do Sonic one and just put one slow. Slow paintbrush across. Yeah, I guess. With yeah. a little red on the bottom. Yeah, just tiny, tiny, tiny red. Yeah, okay. and then and then someone fell asleep. So Joe, this is your first world record to the Twin Galaxy Star- uh, database, correct? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I'm very excited about it. <laughs> when did when did you find out about Twin Galaxies? Uh, Twin Galaxies is probably the common answer. Uh, like many people, was the King of Kong documentary. Cool. When, when did you see King of Kong? I, I want to know how new you are. Yeah, absolutely. That's what I'm trying to feel you out. This was uh, probably only uh, six years ago, maybe five, six years oh. ago, something like that. Oh, okay. cool. And uh, what, what, what's is is Paperboy just the special record, or is it just the first one you submitted? I guess. Uh, Paperboy is Paperboy is a special one. It's the only one I've uh, really gone for to date. Um, and it, it's a game that I've had, you know, since before I can remember, really. Did you ever play it in the arcade, or is this specifically just for the NES? I'll admit, uh, point blank, I'm horrible at the arcade version. I don't know if it's the handlebar controls, but I've tried it. It sucks, so I've only stuck to the NES version. Yeah, now that's kind of how me and Mike are, too. Yeah. We've obviously we've played the arcade version, but... I grew up playing the Nintendo version yeah, also I, and I think that's I think most that's people play Paperboy yeah. that way. I mean But I don't know, I just to me it's a I don't know, the controls are so much better at home. Oh yeah. Arcade, yeah I, I don't know, it's just it's just so much maybe that's what the arcade people don't like about it, is it's the Nintendo version's easier. And it's not like it's an easy game. It's a hard No, it's a game. very hard game. Very difficult game. And we're watching this yeah, gameplay. No, so if you guys want to comment it's on easy it. It's game to pick up. But hard to you know to do well at. Yeah, it's hard to master for sure. Yeah, I mean I can get. I mean I know I'm terrible at it. Uh, what? <laughs> we're watching your video. <laughs> that first crash where you you just keep going. You n- you didn't reset. No, that that first crash is intentional. Actually, uh, you need to you need to maximize score on the first day. You, you need to take a fall there to to reset your paper count. Ah, see, oh, that's why. I, that's that's why, awesome. That's why I was kind of asking that question i wasn't positive i figured it was some type of thing to get some more points with the few i wasn't sure though because like i said i can't no, get past no. like you're fishing you want a nice going world record holder <laughs> okay <yeah. laughs> oh nice yeah, move that button no it is it's a blast i mean it really is a really fun game and i don't know Dude, this is a uh, this is impressive this is already farther than i've ever gotten i've the point of games hey, since like 19. We got 25,000 and I'm like, okay, really? <laughs> Yo, this would easily have won. Oh, yeah. If we would be uh, if we had a contest. contest. Oh, yeah. and, and what I like is watching your training course runs. And it's just like Oh, look, he doesn't Dang. miss. He doesn't miss. Look at that. That's <laughs> fantastic. Look at that. 
<laughs> yeah, nothing, um, nothing more frustrating for me to have a, a great run through the day and then get to the training course, which I've done a million times, and uh-huh. mess something up. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because, I mean, it's just, like, perfect throws and, oh, <laughs> oh that's sweet, man. So, um I know I'm kind of jumping. I don't have my questions in order here because I have them written down. But uh, is there anything else you plan to go for or uh, any other records? Uh, nothing in mind in particular. I remember when, when I first saw King of Kong, I went back and, and looked at my old games and, and thought about what I could you know, possibly be good at. Um, Paperboy was just the, the first one that I thought I had the best chance. Uh, so I need, to, you know, I need to revisit it. It's been a while since I've you know, dedicated a lot of time. To any particular game, but now that I do have one record under my belt, it's uh, I can see myself trying to go for more. Yeah, there's a there's a ridiculous itch when you get your very first record. It's like because uh, uh, that's all I thought. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna do Sonic Spinball, and that'll be cool. I'll, yeah. be, I'll, oh, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll have that somewhere, you know. In my life, it sounds, you know, <laughs> like, hey, I did the Owl's World Record on this game. But then it's like, oh, man, though, but I could do this and do that. And the best part is if somebody does beat your score, that's the best yeah. part for you to go back and try to beat that score. That's, like, the best – that's, like, the most fun. Like, uh, Don was commenting about hope Rudy and uh, Ryan trade things back and forth on uh, oh, Turbo Graphics. That's yeah. what makes it fun. That's what we've been missing the past two years. Uh, with Twin Galaxies being on the, you know, that kind of stuff. Yeah, no, I, let's, I look forward to that. I hope someone does come and, uh, you know, take away the title because I'd love to, to have the motivation to, uh, to get an even better score. Yeah, because right now it's like, oh, I got the world record. What do I need to play for? But, well, yeah, no, I mean, <laughs> if no one ever beats your record in a game, there's kind of no point to play it again. Oh, like I said, yeah, most, most of the stuff, most of my old video games are reborn because of Twin Galaxies. Oh, yeah. without a doubt. That really, yeah. it, I could tell with you when yeah. you first joined. I mean, yeah. all of a sudden you yeah. were Did like, I ever play Sonic? No. No, I never yeah. knew you playing Sonic. I mean, you, you had played it but it wasn't like an obsession it wasn't like nhl 94 was for you yeah and then all of a sudden it's like oh, you're playing a lot of sonic <laughs> and the next cool. thing you know but no that's great man uh is there uh any other games i know that not world record wise but uh, what other games do you like is this your favorite game of all time or it's uh i would say my favorite uh i am a big super mario 3 fan and okay. um a few years back, probably even, you know, like 10 years back, when I first saw, like, one of the first tool-assisted speedruns of Mario 3, uh, my brother and I went back and forth for a solid week trying to, to replicate the effort. And I got pretty good. I got down pretty quick. I don't remember what the time was. Um, but that's something that I might consider, you know, someday trying to pick up. Oh, that's awesome. Forward. No, and that's obviously a favorite of so many people. It's such a oh, great Oh, yeah, game. such great. Yeah, we interviewed uh, – oh, there was the, the point – pressing champion i like to call him mason mm-hmm. kramer oh, yeah. we had him on a few weeks ago i don't know if you guys saw that but that was that was a cool run he commentated during the whole thing uh, if you guys have any questions feel free to either join into the chat or don if you want to interrupt us please do or uh put them in the uh, chat and either us don or joe will see them and we'll try to answer them here while we watch the remainder of joe's run um, I- I'm, glad, I'm glad i'm glad you opened it up because i love the fact that when Joe, when he's going as a paper boy, because I'm pretty sure that I had this paper boy, that place I lived at, because he throws the papers through the windows of all the people who don't subscribe. <laughs> it's like, oh, you don't subscribe to the post? Well, yeah, you know. So I'm going to kill your dog <laughs> with a newspaper. Those are called, those are called free samples. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, actually, free samples, think about it. <laughs> as long as you don't care about your windows, it's a way to get a free paper. Yeah, so yeah, that's free good point. No, instead so, of Joe, paying... are you going to go for Paperboy 2? Paper, I've actually never played Paperboy 2. <laughs> that's uh, awesome. that is actually fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> it's, you know what? It's good. Um, if you like Paperboy 1, you'll like Paperboy 2 because it's yeah. the same game, basically. Just <laughs> new... It should make uh, you go. Yeah, yeah. Make... Yeah, it's, yeah, it's fun. You know what would have been cool if it made you go down? I think in Paperboy, they should make it where you're traveling down oh, I see what you mean, yeah. the screen instead of up the screen. It make yeah. it way harder. I, I think I think they should have made the sequel Paper Man, like a grown-up <laughs> version. 
Oh, they could have gone into like a whole thing on that. Well, that's where you drive the car up to the mailbox like (laughs) the paper people do now. Yeah, I was going to say, if this was, if they made Paperboy now, this would not be a kid riding a bike. He would only have like three papers to deliver. Yeah, he had three papers to deliver and his parents would be driving him around in an air-conditioned SUV. Yeah, either that (laughs) or he'd be on a Segway or something. Oh, yeah, it would would be the easiest game of all time. (laughs) Kind of like paper routes now. Was, was this how your paper route was when you were a kid, Mike? No. My mom, I I rollerblade my mom. Oh, I remember did. that. Well, I, I had like that. seven routes, too, so. Oh, I remember. You were like yeah. 11, and you wanted to like make more than anyone in. That I made today. <laughs> <laughs> Which you did, so I give you credit. Yeah. You made more when you were 11 than I did when I was like 19. So. <laughs> you also worked harder. Yeah. So. Oh, <laughs> this well, is awesome. Watching. No, this is good. I've, I'm not going to lie, I've played Paperboy a ton. I've never gotten to this part of the game. I so. never got past Tuesday. Yeah, oh, I don't think I ever got to Tuesday. In fact, I know for a fact. I got. I know I know. I got through the first... Fr- yeah. That's I got to awesome. the finish one, so I know I got through Monday, and then I, nice. I think I got through Tuesday. We're going to try it. So Joe, Nick will play some here yes. in a little bit. Is it for... Uh, it's, it's, it's probably arcade version. Okay. We're playing Midway I was going to say, what system are we playing on? on the Xbox? Just because that's the only version I got. Of it. Man, imagine how good Paperboy would have been for Virtual Boy. Oh, think of how much different. <laughs> <laughs> you would have thrown so, the so paper Joe, just caught in this one. How, how long did it take you to get the record? I'm sorry to interrupt. I apologize. No, no oh, interrupt, please. Um, yeah, uh, it goes back. Uh, it starts back in my college days. Uh, one of my roommates and I, uh, yeah, we, we started having a friendly competition going back and forth with Paperboy, outdoing each other's score. And then one day I finally realized that if you hit the A and B button at the same time, you could throw two papers and get you know twice the points for a mailbox. And I blew them out of the water. And he was pretty pissed and never picked up a controller again. What? Wow. So, yeah. So, I mean, I, I, I walked away from it for a while. And then once I, you know, once I saw the King of Kong, uh, I picked it up again. And it was probably, you know, a couple months of, of playing every day where, I, you know, I had to, honestly, it was a lot of trial and error to figure out what I thought was the best pattern to, to maximize, you know, papers. And, uh, yeah, it probably was about a few months. Cool, very cool. Have you ever sure. considered playing it for another system? Or is it just Nintendo solely? Uh, I'd consider I th- it. I've, I've never, you know, made an effort to, to go out and get it for another system, but I'd give it a shot. Yeah. yeah, I think the other, we'll find out here, I think it's a little bit different. I think all the other remakes for all the other systems are pretty much the arcade. Yeah. Like the Gen- is, there's a Genesis. There's a version, Genesis right? yeah. version, and it's more. And what we play tonight, I think, is like the arcade port. I'm pretty. And sure this is. is real close to the arcade port, but it, I don't know. It just has. Well, it's a just different Nintendo feeling. didn't have quite the capability to emulate an arcade yeah. machine. So, so Genesis, especially the first two years of games, were basically just arcade games, mm-hmm. like the the version of the arcade at home, which was yeah. quite was great, but. So, so not bad. Ten thousand. I, I love that. Good, yeah, man. I love that you beat the score by ten thousand. 10,300 points yeah, it's from a previous solid, record. It's awesome. Three years ago, yeah. so. I had actually, you know, as I was going for the record, you know, I, I beat that score. Uh, and I actually, I, I sent in a submission uh, when Twin Galaxies was doing, you know, the, the solo judge. And, you know, I, I sent one in. And then literally it was like the next week and Twin Galaxies was down again. So <laughs> I went back to it and figured, you know, might as well get a better score. And you know, improved upon it a little bit. Yeah, good idea. Yeah, it's it, it was it was an unfortunate. You were the world record holder then, just wasn't official. Yes, but now you have it a more good, yeah, prestigious people, score. I was, yeah, I could tell people I was a record holder, and they would be like, "What do you mean?" I said, "Well, I beat the score," and they would just you know roll their eyes and walk away. Yeah, now, now there's tangible yeah. proof. <laughs> and then when Walter yeah, gets you your own cool. trading card, you know, there'll be another oh, yeah. more proof. <laughs> you have yeah. major proof that you can carry around in your wallet. The yeah, I, mean, I at least have to get a t-shirt made up with, you know, the Paperboy uh, graphic on it. Oh, oh, yeah, dude. Oh, you know what it has to be is <laughs> yes. his face in the paper. Oh, absolutely, <laughs> yeah. 
That's a good idea. We might need to. No, that's that's going to happen. Okay, good. Walter will make it happen. (laughs) (laughs) I was going to say, I think we could probably make it happen. Well, we'll make it happen, but Walter will print. Maybe maybe have it be a a what? Graphic on our show. Oh, yeah, we can do the graphic on our show. Actually, if I would have had enough time this week, (laughs) I I probably probably would have done it. So cool. (laughs) That's great. No, so, you know, if you happen to find another game that you're interested in, you know, and... Is there, well, I guess my quick quick, quick question is, is there much room for improvement, you think, if somebody does beat your score? I think, I, I you know, I, I looked at it, and I think there's definitely some room. I think, you know, ideally, maybe you could break the 300,000 mark, but yep. I think that would be pushing the limit. You think you'll work on it if now, like a month from now, you think you'll pick it up again and just say, hey, I wonder if I can beat my own score, or you think you'll just wait till someone else until someone else beats it, if they beat it? I think, I think I'll pick it up again. I mean, just to, to stay sharp, um, you know, just in case someone does come to challenge, um, I'd like to be ready. No, that's cool. That's it's good to stay. It's good to stay, stay sharp, warm. No, yeah. Yeah. See, that's what I did. I got cold. Oh, okay. that's what happened to me. Totally. <laughs> I mean, completely. <laughs> Most of the games I used to be gone. Well, that's the, the thing. I basically. started concentrating on other scores. Yep. When it goes back to somebody beating your score, you're out of practice. And it oh. takes a lot longer. To, like, I regret some of my other world records because I stopped playing some other games. Yeah. But I'm still nowhere near as good as, good as I was a few years ago. No, I mean, like when we talked to Billy Mitchell about playing Donkey Kong. Yeah. I mean, we talked to him off, you know, off season. And he's like, he goes, I can't just pick it up if I haven't played it in a year. Yeah. He's like, it doesn't matter how many times I've played it in my life. He's like, you still have to yeah. practice it. Yeah. And it's completely and true. true. Yeah, the guy, he couldn't throw yeah. down even a half a million at that first car. Oh. No. And then he throws, what, 835,000 at the next <laughs> one. So it's like, all right, all right. Yeah. It's still in there, but it is not something that just comes to you naturally. No. You might be able to pick it up quicker than some people, but just to be able to do it. Just man. to get through that. I know, like level. that is impossible. That was just impressive how you just got past the dog. <laughs> I mean, I don't even. I can't even. Get yeah, it, who man. cares about points? I just want to get to the end of it. But. Were you, say, were you cheering say, right, right now? Right there in those situations, uh, the you know the limited hybrid at the end really comes in handy because the screen would sort of slow down a little bit, and you'd yeah. have a little bit of an extra second to decide where to go. That's awesome. I was going to say, was this final uh, course here gravy for you because you knew you had already beaten the record? Oh, yeah. I mean, it, it was, I was, I was pumped, but my heart was racing because I didn't want my record run to, you know, all of a sudden crash at the final. Um, oh, you know, I no, can accept, that's true. You know, I, I can accept doing that first meaningful crash on the first day, but, yeah. you know, having to have a failure at the end would have been, would have been no good. Oh, yeah. Yes. There, there it is. Oh, dude. That's what we got to do. That's what we got to do. Put in the, in the newspaper. Right there, yeah. Oh, God. So, Joe, can you do a quick pose like you're holding a newspaper and they'll Photoshop it later? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, <look> at <laughs> there you go. There you go. That's good. Yeah, that's pretty good, man. Uh, yeah. Resolution's big enough, hopefully. Yeah. Otherwise, we'll have you do it again. Yeah, we'll just have some yeah, new take. I can, I can send the photo in. That's no big deal. That, that'd be oh, perfect. That would be great, man. That'd be we'll, really we'll cool. Make it, we'll make it happen. No, that's great. <laughs> Tech's still good, Walter, right now. Yeah, what are well. you doing, Walter? Are you eating some soup? Oh, he's making soup. Oh, okay. Dude. It's Friday night. Walter always makes soup yeah. on Friday nights. For the whole week, right? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. it takes him a good 12 to 14 and hours. And then he dumps it in his truck. Into the truck, okay. and then he just come out and ladle it out. He's got <laughs> ladles everywhere. All different types, just shapes and sizes. So, Wood, so is there any tips for any novice players for Paperboy? Like us? Yes. <laughs> Tell us how to play be better. <laughs> I'd say, um, you know, first off, just focus on making it through each day through the week. Uh, mm-hmm. Once you get the pattern down for avoiding the obstacles, you know, the, the cats, the, 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 the death, the Grim Reaper, the, uh, the kid breakdancing the street, as it seems. Um, once you have that down to memory, then you focus on, you know, throwing the papers where you want. Okay, that makes sense. It's kind of like uh, playing a Galaga type, a Galaga game or a space. Make sure you can survive before you point press. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Is this the DVD to uh, the movie The Mummy? No. Oh, that's what it looks like. This is a treasure. (laughs) So we got to go through the pyramid to play it. Oh man. 
What game are we so going to play? Uh, Tech Four Twenty says, uh, "How many? How many levels are there in Paperboy?" Seven. Uh, it's uh, it's one week, uh, seven days. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. yeah. Starts on Monday, ends on Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Look at that, those man. Papers are heavy. Oh, absolutely. They got all the coupons and the entertainment section. <sighs> Think you can do it? 14.5, Mike? No. <laughs> you can get through one day? <laughs> no. So this game of I, I, I like I like playing uh, Paperboy, but I'm always terrible at it. Ooh, look at the graphics, man. Oh, this is weird. You got to use the trigger to, to cycle. <laughs> yeah. <I'm playing>. yeah. <laughs> Remember what he said. Mind the that, was, that was a meaningful death, that right? That was an intentional. That was on purpose. Like, oh, right, okay. yeah. That 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 a... Maybe my controller's yeah. broken. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I think it's broken. Is it? Oh. Oh yeah, it's oh, definitely no. broken. There you go. Okay, just so want to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, missed it. Can I go back? You should probably. Why pick can't that you go up? back? Don't don't hit that. Oh, Bicycles right. only go in one direction. You know what they? You know what new track that Twin Galaxies needs to have? When or I'll I'll uh, vote it in because every time I played Paperboy, you know what I played Paperboy with? What? Game Genie, unlimited papers. No, oh, yeah, that's that true. was that so was much great. more fun. I Way thought. More fun. Well, as everything, as everyone knows, Game Genie makes playing video games better. What? Well, that's the purpose yeah. of Game. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. The world's slowest <laughs> crash. <laughs> this version looks way more difficult. I, 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 what the heck? Look at those hot rods. <laughs> oh, oh, he just... He, you did not survive that one. Oh, wow. All right, Nick. Was it my <laughs> turn? <laughs> yeah. It's, paperboy calls it quits. Also dies. Right. I don't even make the top ten. Which, which one is it? It's actually... This works. The analog okay. works. But your trigger, I would call it pedaling. Oh, jeez. It's not... It's not like this <sighs> Nintendo version. The Nintendo version made more sense. Because so you guys, have you ever guys ever heard of uh, Brental Floss? He's a YouTuber. Oh, and he yeah, does he's music awesome. based on. Ah, okay. His version of Paperboy is fantastic. So he does, oh. he does the Paperboy theme. If you've never heard it, you owe it to yourself. Go to YouTube after the show and then, and then listen to it. It's funny. I, I, I don't know. That, I think it's a video. He actually has an album. That, that's where I heard it. But um, it's, it's quite funny and very cool. Very hilarious too. His other stuff's really yeah. good. Like I think he did one. He did one for Bubble Bobble, uh -huh. which is yeah. really funny because I have my own song to Bubble Bobble. Oh yes, as you it do. Is. So then somebody actually singing a Bubble Bobble song about the actual game. You know, dude, you get like no points. Oh, you're just trying to beat I'm just, the level. Oh, yeah, I'm just trying to beat the level. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man! You can really. You can really rock so in the song. He says the paperboy's feet are glued to the pedals, so he can't stop pedaling for any reason, or he'll just fall over. That's the that's the explanation. <laughs> that makes sense. It does kind of feel like he's being tortured. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's good like subservient labor or something. Oh. And how he can only stand oh. one side of the street. What about the customers on the other side of the street? All right, Nick. I've literally never made it here before. Yeah, this is so different. This is just crazy. That's the best part of the game, though. Oh, yeah. I, remember, I don't know if people remember, but the original Paperboy, you had handlebars. It was actually handlebars on top of the on top of the arcade thing, so it was like you were... That was the control. Yeah, I only played that version uh, a couple times, and that was, as you can tell, really good. I mean, I did really good at that <laughs> game. Uh I don't know that he would die if he hit that. Well, he didn't die. I think, it, I think it would actually be like this is one of those games where, like, so you're playing, you know, Shinobi and you're a ninja, you're killing other ninjas, right? This is a game where it actually would be easier to do the activity than to play the, the game that represents, like, that is virtualizing the activity, right? I, it would be easier to deliver papers I for think real so, than to play Paperboy. Have you ever, I mean, I, I never, I delivered papers on rollerblades. Has anybody ever, have you ever really rode a bike and actually threw the paper without falling off? It's impossible. I mean, I'm just saying. I don't, I'm just saying I don't think yeah, anyone would. I don't know. We should try it. We should have a video. Yeah. Yeah, we could. You, you meet Joe. Break 
so record like, setter. Yeah, we should. Oh, yeah, we'll go. This we could throw uh, alarm clocks instead of papers. I was gonna say we're gonna we're here with the world record holder of Paperboy, dude, to I, show us how to play Paperboy in real life. Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh, <laughs> that would be a we fun video. We kind of have to do this. Yes. Man. Oh. That's something you may want to wear a helmet. I see a lot of cars on the road. That doesn't. Actually, Tosh would do it. Yeah, like, what time is he? I was wondering, like, what time is he delivering papers? Why is there so much traffic? It's after school. That's all. That's not the time, man. You got to wake up at five. People need the news. They need the news. If you do it for real and you see the Grim Reaper, just just go the other direction. Just book it? Yeah. I filled, I filled in for a paper route for a buddy for one week. And I, have, I lived on a hill growing up, and it was the worst thing ever. I never went back to it. <laughs> that's why you did it for the one week, and that was it. Well, that, yeah. that's all the experience he needed for the game. He just now he then he mastered it, and then translated it. <laughs> Were you Where watching? Are you, are you watching Joe's uh, gameplay? He like rarely goes in the street. Yeah, I was wondering why. <laughs> that, there you go. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's kind of nice. Oh. I, think, I think when that happened, it was my uh, my fingers were getting sweaty and it, it, the control slipped, and it was just, it was a mistake. Yes, that's exactly what happened to me too. <laughs> um, I'm assuming I'm since we're talking about controllers, just a random tra question. You use the classic classic controller. I'm assuming, right? No advantage or anything like oh, that, yeah. right? Classic controller, definitely. Yeah, yeah, it's way easy. That is actually. Don't get me wrong. I would not do any better with a Nintendo controller, but this th these controls are goofy as yeah. hell, man. The pedaling with the back buttons, like yeah, the trigger. I'm yeah, just like, not a fan. Well, they try to make it like it's gas. Yes. Yeah. Oh no, I understand. In in some racing games, it's kind of cool. Yeah. But it's like it's a bite. It'll be it'll work great in Spy Hunter if we play that on here. Oh yeah yeah yeah. But. Even like a pod racer or something like that. But that's because there's a... <laughs> I always forget about that stupid hearse. Isn't it watching? Doesn't it have enough dead people in it? Come on. They're probably busy. Oh. I mean, that's probably a busy hearse. It's a very busy hearse. Yeah, I mean, just think, hopefully the hearse was empty because he's going to have to carry my body. Here we go. I just want to make it to the course again. Now, what would have made it more fun, NES only has one difficulty, right? Yeah, yeah. It's just it, there's just one setting. Because what I do like about some of the other Twin Galaxies tracking uh, Paperboy, which seems kind of fun, is they have easy, medium, and hard, and then you combined all your scores for playing all of them. Uh huh. I forgot what they called it. The Grand Slam. Oh yeah, yeah. I like that. I'd been cool if Nintendo had a f little bit more to play, but like I said, it's still. In my opinion, the more enjoyable one yes. to play. Except there's more people cheering for you in this game. Yeah, like I like that. Uh, Nintendo, I think there's what three people. Yeah. <laughs> well, the the sport wasn't as big back then. <laughs> it grew. <Cancel laughs> they system. want. That's before they, it went they, commercial. They got Gatorade sponsorships and stuff, and yeah. It, oh, yeah. In my per, in my opinion, they sold out a little bit. Oh, without a doubt. You can oh, tell. Yeah. Look at the bike they bought me. Oh, Luke, I forgot to mention this earlier. Oh, what? For those of you who have been on the website, I don't know who's hosting this, but Glenn just was passing along this message. By the way, Glenn will be back next week. All his Nintendo-ness will be watching us uh, watch go for Virtual Boy Records. Um, Glenn wanted me to pass along that there's a tournament announced today that came across his desk. Oh! Uh, it's going to last for 24 hours. It's called the Intrepid Off. It's a game on MAME. The Chrysler Intrepid? And, uh, no, it's not the Chrysler. Oh, it's called okay. the game called Intrepid. Oh. Um, May 2nd, lasts for 24 hours. Gotcha. There's a Facebook page dedicated to it. And he also wanted to congratulate Estelle Goffinette for his Intrepid MAME world record, which I'm assuming will be be beaten here shortly by somebody else and all that good stuff. Oh, so good. 
If you're interested in that game, Intrepid, which I honestly don't know anything about, there's going to be an Intrepid off. <laughs> <laughs> everything, has, everything has to be off. I, mean, I was going to say, on. just like every, contra just like every uh, controversy in the world has to end with gate now. Yeah, paper, yeah, paper Boy off is going to come yeah, up exactly. next week. And <laughs> Some other ones that you will, we'll be talking about. Sonic spinoff. Ooh, that's a, that well, one see, actually, that works yeah, kind of good, too. There's another one that we hear is uh, we can't wait. so we can't tell you about <laughs> oh. it yet, but you will hear about it in the future. It's going to be huge. <laughs> it's going to be a huge. There's actually a trailer. Maybe. Yeah, there'll be a trailer for it and everything. It'll be really cool. You haven't so figured Intrepid, out that. Go Intrepid ahead. is basically um, like, um, it's sort of like a combination of impossible mission and elevator action. More impossible oh. mission. Oh, okay. Yeah, we watched a tiny bit of it, it before our show tonight. It kind of reminded me of what you were doing in Dig Dug 2, honestly. Oh. Just yeah. Just by the way bit. you were... Uh, just the way you're moving around the screen. Yeah. yeah, and just trying to close off sectors. Not the same exact thing, but you know what I mean. It's uh, yeah, the same idea. Uh, yeah, it's the same. Same mindset. Same type of design. Yeah, yeah. Is, is what you would call it. Oh, what am I looking for here? Whoa! I'm trying to find out the schedule. The sed schedule. Schedule. A movie, Mike. Damn it. I don't know. So, Joe, what, what, the, what other consoles do you have? Uh, right now, I've got uh, still got my NES, uh, SNES. Can you break um, I've got a PlayStation Two somewhere and a Wii. So I've kind of kind of fallen a little bit behind. No, yeah, that's fine. Doing. Not for world records. <laughs> oh, see. Yeah, I still have I still have my club. Of about, I think, 200 you know, NES cartridges right now. Oh, wow. wow. Dude, that's awesome. Do you do it? Yeah, uh, are you col actively collecting? or? Uh, it's been a while since my since I last uh, actively got some, but uh, I'd like to keep growing it. What's your favorite console? Oh, NES, hands down. Hey, most Fair enough. I'm an NES guy. Not for long. Yep. Now that yeah, you have a sure, safe. I just got a Genesis, so. You know, I bought the six, the 32X plug-in thing. Oh, I haven't no, tested it yet, but I just got it. Don't, yep. don't. I got a good deal on it. With, don't play with that. And I was like, until, <laughs> give yourself like six months before you plug that, because then you will never play the Genesis again. <laughs> yeah, literally. Really? Oh, yeah, that so bad, huh? Because it takes you so long to hook up the 32X, you'll look at it and be like, oh, yeah. I want to play Genesis, but I have to disconnect everything. You know uh, what? Never mind. You uh, let me. Let You'll me, just buy another Sega. No, uh, you can just plug in your regular cartridges on top of the 32X. But there has been some people talking on the internet yes, that that doesn't count. Sometimes it would wreck the game. <laughs> of course, it, no. Why? Because 32X wrecked everything. I tried it. It never wrecked any of my games. Oh. So I'm just giving you a forewarning sure? there. Yeah. So, sure you get I, I got to swap out the, <laughs> the master system converter anyway. So, oh, no sweet. Deal. No, that's worth it. That's sweet. There's some really no, great. I had games. to get that one. Yeah. Oh, definitely. There's some master system, the hardest system ever. I mean, that was like what they did. They purposely made their games incredibly difficult, as if Nintendo games at the time weren't hard enough. Like, you could tell where video games were at the time, where it really was like, no, no, the harder the better. Everything has to be, you know, incredibly <laughs> arduous. You paid forty dollars for this. It's gonna take you forty years to beat it. That's kind of yeah. Uh, no, honestly, yeah. that is, and I mean, a lot of the Master System games, especially compared to how, I'm not saying games aren't hard now because you have to but, figure yeah. them out, but you don't get three lives and no continues anymore. You can basically yeah, right. play and save and stuff. Or Master System, saving, it's like yeah. the idea of saving not there, and um, good luck. And the controls were weird on that system. Like, like you, instead of A and B is jump and kick, it would be like one and select. <laughs> so yeah. You had to like sometimes figure out the <laughs> controllers. You really had to read the manual. Well, I love the start system. button as you press the or the start button was always one. Too, yes. No, it was. <laughs> it uh, it was all right. Teddy Boy's a cool game. Teddy Boy. That was a fun game. But you'll have fun with that. Oh, yeah. Like I said, I still don't own a Master System because I have that. So, No, I did yeah, not wreck my games yet. There's a good chance that, yes, my it could. I, I don't have my 32X plugged in anymore. So, 
It took six hours to <laughs> plug it in, eight hours to <laughs> plug it out. I don't know, I do remember you saying on multiple occasions, I'm hooking up the 32X. If you want to play it, play it now, because I'm not doing it again. <laughs> oh, yeah, during our competitions, yes, yeah. You would take oh, you yeah. like a half hour. Oh, yeah. Because you'd have to get it perfect. Yeah, that's true. Because you'd, you'd think you had it, and then you'd test it, and it wouldn't work. and be like, oh, this, the 16th spring isn't in or whatever, and then you'd have to... Yeah. I don't know what they were thinking. Yeah, but then the, really new, the new Sega I have, the CDX, yes. you don't have to put all those extra tabs yeah. in. It's a lot easier. Well, the CDX is just awesome. Awesome, yeah. Yeah, if you're ever going to get any junkets, find it. It's worth it. It's worth the five. So, Joe, what's your favorite game? Is it Paperboy or is there something something else? Uh, I've always been, I mean, partial, like I said, to, to Mario 3, but i uh, always been a big, you know, Legend of Zelda fan. Uh, um that's probably one of the primary reasons I've, I've you know, went, I eventually got a Wii back in the day. Um, so Zelda, Metroid, um, yeah, those, those are the primary ones I really enjoy. Cool. Have you considered doing a Zelda speedrun on the NES or any system? Uh, I've never considered it. Uh, uh, it it's a possibility. Uh, my, uh, my wife just told me to mention My Longer Castle as a favorite. Uh, but oh, I've never yeah, been able to yeah. that game out. <laughs> I actually, actually rented that game once, and I like returned it. And I'm like, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. I like, I don't like. There was no <laughs> manual with it, so I'm like, I, li I literally have no idea what to do here, and just returned it. Yeah, even even with the manual, the game makes very little sense. <laughs> and that's, I think that's a lot of the games back then, though, right? A lot of a lot of the Nintendo games back then, you you have no idea what you're doing. Then the manual's like, you know, uh, you know, uh, collect all the whatever. And they don't tell you what those are, and then it's, yeah, it was, there's a lot of figuring it out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, speaking of the manual, uh, you know, back in the day when you actually had access to it, it was nice. But uh, picking up Star oh. Tropics, um, you know, oh, yeah. years after the fact, and you get to a point in the game where it basically says to dip the manual in water, and it'll tell you the secret code to proceed. <laughs> Before the internet, oh, that's fantastic. What, what are you supposed to do? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's funny. <laughs> that's funny. I love the jokes <laughs> play on us. That was a cool game. I like that game. Star Trapper? Yeah. I remember hey all guys, the advertising. This is Neo. Yeah. You have a minute and a half left. Oh, cool. Man, Thanks, right. Neo. So, uh... Thanks, Joe, for coming on the show. Appreciate it. Um, congratulations. We got to get a picture from you and talk to Definitely. Walter. We got to get you a trading card for sure. Uh, congratulations on your record. And like I said, I hope someone does beat it so you have another opportunity to go back and beat it. So thanks again. Yeah, guys, thank you very much for having me. Uh, it was a pleasure talking to you guys. And, uh, yeah, I'd definitely love to see that graphic someday. No, oh, great. Well, and, too. and, hey, man, beat another record. We'll have you on again. Oh, yeah. All right, um, sounds good. A little, little program note next week. Yes. Brian Altake will be back. Uh, the man. Tentatively, he told yeah. me today. <laughs> I, I can't be exact. I can't control the world. but uh, And this guy will be going so for Virtual Boy World Records next week. So yep. um, you definitely want to tune into that. Jace Hall will be back next week at 10 p.m. Central um, to answer your questions on State of the Galaxies about Twin Galaxies. And coming up next... I believe uh, Jennifer's coming on to play uh, some Injustice. No, very cool. Um, so stick around for that. Uh, I'm your host, Michael Sroka. Uh, Nick Hauslander, thanks for joining us. And Don Atreides uh, for joining us, uh, being being our great uh, Skype co-host. Oh, absolutely. Past few weeks. Thank thanks you for so joining much. us. And uh, go to TwinGalaxies.com, start submitting your world records. There's a world record out there for every single one of you at some point Absolutely. In time. Um, so thanks for joining us. Thanks good night, lot, everybody. Man. Have a good one. Have a good weekend.